Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, July 8th. You have this card, it says, magic works through you, and you also have a skunk, it says, know your worth. Uh, there's a lot going on, I feel, with um, worth, and self-worth, and uh, earth signs. So, uh, I feel for a lot of you that you need to um, make sure that you're giving yourself credit, right? I feel like you need to make sure that you are, um, you know, taking care of yourself as well. Like, self-worth has a lot to do with self-care, and so I would make sure that you're doing all those things. Um, you have the sun in your first row, and so the sun can definitely represent the sun shining on you and getting more attention or, you know, finding happiness or, you know, creating more happiness in your life, whatever you want to call it. And, um, you know, I, I like I like that for you. Uh, this right here, and actually all of this, can kind of represent inspiration or enlightenment. So the sun, the ace of wands, and the hangman, are kind of all cards of, of inspiration or uh, receiving enlightenment about what direction you need to move in in life or what things that you need to be doing. You have the Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the Three of Cups. Uh, you also have two Aces, which is interesting. Um, I've been seeing a lot of Aces, again, in the readings. And, you know, to me, um, it's, it's just kind of weird. Like, I, I would say maybe at the beginning of the year, I think every, everybody was getting multiple aces. Now people are getting multiple aces again. I also think it's interesting at the end of this month, we're going to have the second full moon for the year in Capricorn. We just had one at the end of last month. And now we're, or, you know, whenever that was, and now we're having another one coming up. And I don't know, just interesting to me. <laughs> I think it would be a good time to uh, ground your uh, dreams into reality, especially, you know, we also have Neptune going retrograde. And, um, you know, that Neptune retrograde energy, I think, is going to be really good for people who are kind of like have a dream that they want to manifest in reality. Uh, like now is the time to do it. Like I'm a Pisces and they say, you know, Pisces is ruled by Neptune, which I don't agree with. I think Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. I, every Pisces, I've looked at a billion Pisces charts and every single one I can see this person's ruled by Jupiter. You can just see it in their chart. So, you know, I don't even like Neptune in Pisces. Um, you know, I think it's too dreamy. I think it's too, you know, like just uh, out, it, totally in the clouds, this like crazy dreamy energy. But having it go retrograde, it's like all the things you've been dreaming about for like years now, you really have the opportunity to get your wish. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be easy. As I always say, you're going to have to like put the work in. There, there are things you're going to have to do to really make it happen and, and kind of cement it in reality. I feel like your first step to manifesting your dream is going to be uh, alignment. You always get the nine of cups with me every single reading and it is a card of you know being in the energy of what you really want i always say there's a, a ton of things you can do but i think the easiest thing you can do is adopt the habits of what you want if you want to be successful with money adopt good money habits you want to be successful in love adopt good love habits and go do the things you would do uh, if you had those things people always say to me well i don't have money i can't do things that where, where i have money and it's like well there's tons of things you want to do. Like my dream car was an Audi R8, right? And uh, many years ago, I went and I drove one. So, you know, there are like opportunities to get in the energy of the things that you want, right? And But you just have to uh, like look for those opportunities. So I drove the car to get into the energy of what I wanted. And I feel like that's what the Nine of Cups is re really talks about is like really being in the energy of the things that you want. Uh, you have the sun. The sun is shining on you here, Taurus. It's like you could be noticing that you're getting more attention, that you're standing out more. I feel like you could be feeling more optimistic and happy this month as well. It might not happen until, you know, I kind of feel like the second half of the month is a little bit more optimistic. So, you know, it might take through this week to feel those feelings. But I do feel that the, the sun is shining on you. I feel like there's a lot of attention for you, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Uh, you have the Three of Cups. Yeah, I, I think it's a great time for socializing for Earth signs as well. So I would take advantage of social opportunity, you know, especially if you're looking for love. Not really a love reading, but, you know, again, if you're looking for love, if you're just looking to be happy, if you're looking for happy opportunities, happy little accidents, then I would make sure that you're socializing. I also do feel like that there could be kind of like a harvest coming in for you. These three ladies are celebrating a harvest. And, um, you know, what I feel here is the harvest that you'll be receiving is growth. So if you've been working on like a project, a business, an idea, um, you know, maybe it's not like, maybe you're not getting the million dollars today, but, you know, you could be seeing that there's growth happening where you are moving closer to whatever your goal is. 
Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Get to work. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles says you are much closer than you realize. And that's really what I feel here. Uh, he has this one pentacle right here that he has to finish. So the Eight of Pentacles really says you are much closer to accomplishing your goal than you think. But the thing is, he's just been, you know, kind of looking down and, and working on what he's working on. And he hasn't been paying attention to the result. So I really feel you're about to get some results for the work you've been doing. Uh, with the sun, you have the ten of swords here. Yeah, the, uh, the ten of swords with the sun can represent like a blessing in disguise. So you could be seeing how something that didn't work out in your past is actually a blessing and not a bad thing. So like I said, this would be pretty positive. With the Three of Cups, you have the Strength card. Yeah, I think you could be getting strength from, you know, having fun. I've been saying, you know, I've noticed this a lot as well in the in the readings that, you know, I, I think there's been a lot of cards that really have been asking people to, like, go have fun, go enjoy your hobbies, go do the things that you love to do. And, um, you know, I think that we've all, like, the energy's been too serious. And so I think that people need to have more fun. They need to enjoy themselves more um, you, just to, like, fill, fill that fun bucket, right? And I feel like that's what this is kind of talking about for sure. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this poised card, which I love, and you have this between worlds card. The poised card, like this this lady is being lifted up on a pedestal. So I feel like you are kind of being lifted up at this time. The between worlds card is my purgatory card. It says you're kind of coming out of a period of time uh, where you've been in like black and white. And now your life is becoming more vibrant. You're becoming, you're stepping into this energy of color, right? And more excitement and more happiness. So again, I do feel that you're kind of like moving on from uh, this period of time where you haven't been very optimistic and there's more optimism, more happiness coming in. Uh, again, I feel like you're much closer to accomplishing something uh, than you realize with that Eight of Pentacles and that Poise card. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tightly to the past, but I kind of feel it's just saying that, you know, when, when things are a certain way for too long, I think we get used to the energy, and so we just feel like our life is always going to be the same. And, you know, this reminds me of, like, if you've ever been sick, you know, <laughs> sometimes I think when you're sick, you're like, oh my god, I'm going to feel like this forever, and things are never going to change. And that's kind of the feeling I get here with the Four of Pentacles, is that you're just hoping things will change. You're hoping things will, um, that you won't always feel a certain way. And I feel like you're, I feel like you are finally breaking out of that, you know, that sickness. It's not really sickness, but you're breaking out of those uh, feelings that things are never going to change. Uh, you have the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands can represent a passionate new beginning or excitement, and I do feel that there could be a passionate new beginning, something very exciting uh, coming in for you here. I also feel like there's a lot of desire. Not only that, I feel like you feel very motivated. You have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords at the end of your reading with this Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands I look at as just a spark. Ace of Wands is the spark of life. It, it's meant to represent like the root going down into the soil, that initial spark of life. And but from there, you have to like keep the fire going, right? So I feel for a lot of you uh, that you're at least getting the inspiration that is going to carry you uh, forward. I feel like this reading is really talking about a dream. Again, that Neptune and Pisces dreamy energy. You have a dream that you want to manifest on Earth, w whatever it is. It could be anything, and I I would really go for it. Whatever your craziest, wildest dream is, you know, I always say that. That, you know, if there was ever a time where you could accomplish something that's almost impossible, it would be right now. So I think that, and it's not going to be easy, as I always say. So you're going to have to put the work in. But if you do it, like if there was ever a time where it was possible, it'd be right now. Uh, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can represent lying, cheating, stealing. Uh, I would definitely be careful. Uh, if you've dealt with a person here, um, you know, this to me kind of looks like maybe a person left you out in the cold or was a liar, cheater, stealer, and now they're coming in and telling the truth with the Ace of Swords. But uh, again, uh, if you don't want to hear the truth, then, you know, maybe you should block this person or prevent them from talking to you <laughs> in some way. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, you have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, a card of success and being celebrated. So I feel for a lot of you that there could be a success coming in for you with the Six of Wands. I also kind of feel like you're being proven right about something. Um, you know, he's being celebrated. And, you know, I feel like some of you maybe, um, it's like, it's almost like you stuck to a belief with that Four of Pentacles. And so I feel like people are kind of seeing that you are right. And this could be a good thing because, you know, this could say that now because you were right, people are going to follow you. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about going on an, event, an, an adventure. And with the Ace of Wands, I would definitely do that. You know, he's grabbing on to one wand. 
on that ace of wands. So I feel for a lot of you, this is saying, you know, if you get some sort of inspiration to, you know, work on a project or that could, you know, get you to your dream life, or if you could uh, have an inspiration that could get you closer to your goals, that's exactly what I would do here with the ace of wands. I feel like you are, um, you know, needing to kind of like nurture your inspirations. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Queen of Wands. Again, Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, really moving towards something. I think you get, I'm pretty sure it's you, that gets the Queen of Wands a lot in my readings. And the Queen of Wands, she has to do do something without knowing whether or not she's going to be successful. Uh, she's just following the sun. She has this sunflower in her hand right here. And the sunflower points towards the sun, but she is the card of having to learn as you go. So she is inspired by something, but there's nothing proving to her that she's going to be successful. She just has to put in the work and hope that she's right. <laughs> so I feel for a lot of you, um, there might not be a lot of proof that you can accomplish your dream. Uh, even the Seven of Swords says that you have to be tactical in how you approach something. The Seven of Swords, he's going to war, uh, but he's stealing the swords from that army behind him. So instead of going to war, like most people think of it, he is stealing swords. He's doing it in a different way. And I feel like this could say that you can accomplish your dream, no matter how impossible it seems, in a different way. Uh, you have this coins card. It says luck and money. This is coming up in the area of messages from your future self. You have this card that says survival and power on it. I feel like you've had to be a survivor your whole entire life here, Taurus, and it's like, but now you're getting the results. So I kind of feel like this is just saying you're getting the results for all the work that you've been doing. I feel like this is a little bit of, um, you know, kind of like motivation from your guides or your ancestors or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Nine of Swords. The Two of Pentacles is like work hard, play hard. So I feel like a lot of you have been, you know, putting a lot of work into the things that you're working on. And But now it's time to fill that fun bucket, like I said, with the sun. I've been seeing this card in every single reading for the past like two months. So, <laughs> you know, I would say that I think people are too serious. You know, and again, I, there are a lot of issues in the world. There's a lot of problems. People are, you know, trying to make money and all that other stuff. So I totally understand why people are being serious. But I think when things go one way, we have to go the other. And this is just saying more fun, more enjoyment. Uh, you have the hangman. The hangman says that you have gained enlightenment or you have gained answers. He has sacrificed movement. So he has sacrificed the movement of his arms and his legs so that he can hang from the tree of knowledge and wisdom and gain enlightenment. So I feel like there are, maybe things have been very slow or things haven't been moving or progressing as quickly as you want them to. And now your head is glowing. So it's like now things can progress. Now things can start moving forward in the right direction. So I, you know, I feel like there is a lot of like enlightenment coming in for you. Uh, I also feel that a lot of you could be being guided at this time. I don't really look at the hangman as a card of guidance necessarily that could be part of what he has been enlightened to a certain gui guidance but it's like I, I almost feel like there's like a person or something that's getting you off the pole on on the hangman here so it's, it's almost like a person is providing you with insights or guidance or information and you know it could be like a mentor a person you look up to and yeah i think it will really set things free you you go up to the eight of wands the eight of wands is quick movement even we even go down to the ace of swords which is a quick victory uh, you have the Nine of Swords as well. I feel like the Nine of Swords is saying, I almost just feel like it's saying, don't wait. Like, I feel like your future self is saying, if you're getting some inspirations, it's like these inspirations are pulling you away from discomfort. Remember what I said about the Four of Pentacles. Again, I was there in my life, <laughs> Four of Pentacles, where it's like I was holding on to a place where I was super uncomfortable, where um, I wanted things to change, but I wouldn't let things change, right? So it's like, I understand, um, you know, being in a situation that's not comfortable, that sucks, but also not taking the risk to leave the comfort zone, because even though uh, things might suck, Sometimes I think we get into places where it's like we know we need to take a risk to grow and to get out of our situation, but we're also maybe afraid because like I was because it's like we're holding on to the little bit of whatever that we have in our life, whether it's like money, uh, a person, whatever. And I feel like the Nine of Swords is kind of like your future self is saying, you know, what you're holding on to is just more of the same. And uh, making the change is going to lead to momentum. Eight, eight, eight of Wands, Ace of Swords showing up here, Ace of Wands as well. And so I would move towards momentum. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the two of pentacles, you have the five of pentacles. Uh, I feel like, I actually feel like you're coming out of the cold, and so I, I'm not too worried about this. Five of pentacles does say do not call attention to your weaknesses. You need to focus on your strengths, so make sure to focus on your strengths. 
Uh, with the hangman, you have the uh, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is about planting seeds in a direction so that they will grow. And I feel a lot of you uh, kind of need to start planting seeds in new directions and see what grows. Uh, Ace of Wands, spark life, plant that seed, see which seeds grow and nurture those things into existence. Uh, I also feel like you need to give more attention to fun, like we already said. Uh, with the nine of swords, you have the fool. Yeah, it's time to take a leap of faith for sure. We literally said this practically. You know, I didn't use these words, but you know, I feel like you need to take a leap away from the nine of swords, away from something that basically sucks, away from things that you know, away from the situations uh, that are keeping you trapped in limbo or preventing you from moving forward. I feel like that's going to be the best thing for you. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this artist card that says, Creative endeavors can help you improve your cash flow. Amazingly creative time for you, Taurus. So anything you can create would be a good idea. You have this business card that says, Expect to have an amazing boost up the business ladder. So anything you can do to work on your business or your career, I also think would be a really good idea. Um, you know, I, I think that there's just a lot of growth coming in here. So even if you don't have a business or a career, even if you're just, um, you know, even if you're, you're retired, you could still be experiencing uh, growth just in general. You have the Ace of Wands. Uh, I would be paying attention to speed with the Ace of Wands. Um, you know, again, I wouldn't, there's a difference between rushing and speed. So I would make sure that you're doing the things in work and business and love that create momentum. Momentum is you do something and you get like a better result that lasts for a period of time. And I would keep doing those things to build a lot of momentum. So I would be paying attention to momentum. I also feel that there could be good news coming in for you with the Eight of Wands. Um, this could be about pretty much anything. I also kind of feel a little bit of communication. Again, not really love reading, but if you do want love, I feel you, you could almost have an intuitive feeling about a person. And now you're getting communication or you will be communicating uh, with a person in the future. You have the high priestess. High Priestess says, trust your intuition. High Priestess is also the card of unlimited potential. She has no roof over her head here. And so she kind of says that you could intuitively feel connected to an idea in work or business. And the High Priestess says, you need to uh, double down on your ideas and believe in the impossible, which we've kind of said a couple of times in this reading. And again, she there are no limits to what she can create. And I feel like you need to believe that there are no limits to what you can create. You have the Ace of Swords, you know, definitely a victory and a big win coming in for you, uh, probably based off of the things that you're working on or creating. I do also feel like there could be like a truth coming out here. Again, I would be careful if you don't want to hear the truth. Like if, if you know that hearing that a person cheated or, you know, did whatever they did, uh, to you to end a connection. If you don't want to hear that, again, I would like block this person. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Swords here. Uh, yeah, the Queen of Swords is about clarity and seeing the future. She has clouds only halfway up her body and she's looking in towards the future position. And so I feel a lot of you could finally be getting clarity that's leading to a lot more speed, a lot of quick changes. With the High Priestess, you have the Temperance card. Temperance is balance. Temperance is, uh, you know, patience as well. But temperance is also like mixing two things together. And I feel a lot of you are going to be doing a lot of mixing, you know, through moving into the future. I think a lot of you are going to be uh, kind of like combining ideas and all that other stuff. And yeah, that's really all I'm getting off of the temperance card. I thought there was more, but that's it. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Four of Wands. Yeah, definitely could be marriage potential in the future. Again, I don't, I don't really feel like a ton of love pouring out of this reading. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be in the energy of love, but I do feel like you could be meeting a person that does uh, that brings like a really good love energy into your life. The Four of Wands also a card of freedom, and the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. You know, this is all really talking about you setting yourself free, and I think you're setting yourself free from the Nine of Swords. You know, from that stuck energy or really I really I probably should say you're setting yourself free from the nine of swords and the four of pentacles you're setting yourself free from you know maybe something that has become a little bit of a comfort zone or has kept you stuck uh, you have the scales card it says keep your life in balance um, yes work hard play hard we already said this you need to have more fun so I would do something like nice for yourself at this time or I would do something that you love to do uh, you have this dog close up. It says pleasure with a close friend. So yes, I feel like there could be a lot of fun in socializing three of cups, spending time with people who matter to you. 
Uh, you have this November card and this success card, so I feel like you're working up to big successes come November. Uh, you know, the end of this year could really be good for you. And again, I always say like this doesn't mean you're not going to have successes right now. It just means that you are building up to you know success o over the rest of this year. You have this rainbow card. It says the most difficult part of a situation is over. Love it. So I think you're moving past that nine of swords. I think you're stepping into a much better period of time. I feel like you feel it as well, like probably this week. Um, I'm shooting this video, I think, on the second. And so I, I, I actually can't see that far away. But what I would say is I think that, you know, if you've been dealing with challenges or issues that uh, you could be feeling it even just the first week of July. You have this grasshopper, it's a situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Yeah, if you're dealing with any delicate situations, I would just be delicate. You know, I think the end of the month is a little bit spicy, right? <laughs> so I would make sure that you uh, don't fly off the handle or have any uh, emo emotional outbursts or anything like that. But uh, overall, this looks really good, Taurus. I like where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.